Okay, you guys, hello. I'm going to jump straight into the word. Now, this word is titled, The Marriage Bed Has Been Defiled. How you know when the marriage bed has been defiled? Pretty much anybody out there that's married or may witness somebody, you know, as servants of God, we witness things that we're not in and we still are allowed to pray for these people and intercede. So when you notice that a person has hindered prayers, when you or your spouse prayers are hindered, are you witness someone that's married that's they praying and praying and praying, but nothing is happening. Um, when they are a couple that's barren, they're not able to conceive. Healthy man, healthy, healthy woman, married couple, not conceiving. Uh, they have no joy, no peace, no passion anymore, no love. They're just roommates. Um, you must repent to God first, then ask God to help fix your marriage. Um, this is very, very important to do. Once you do this thing, your relationship will go to a new dimension, which means you'll have a greater love for each other, and you will be able to go um in love is when it's when dimension is defined as uh length width depth and god wanted me to expand on depth so your love depth is going to be your love is going to go deeper the length is uh, up and down so you're going to go through up and downs the width is you're going to have things uh moving to the left moving to the right you know that's going to come in you don't know which way you want to move but he said overall it's going to go deeper you're going to go deeper in your love, which means you're going to love them, love your spouse, love each other like God loved the church. And that's even for someone that's not married, that's hoping for marriage. Pray for these people like it would be yours, like it would be your marriage. Pray for them because you also still can help. You don't got to be married to pray for married people that you see that are under attack or even married people that you run into anywhere. If you see them, God bless their marriage. God help them, you know, God, you know, uh, strengthen them. That's what it's all about. It's just, you know, we, we have to be able to pray for other people and not exclude ourselves because it's not, uh, it's not us exactly. Because at the end of the day, what we pray for is what God does for us. We pray for other people. He fix our issues. He fix our problems. So just remember that the marriage bed has been defiled. Replay this if you need to know what the things was that I said. And when you notice this in your relationship or in another person's relationship, begin to intercede. Amen.